Hello, I'm Brenda. This is Write Your Story. And in this video, we're going to look at the topic of what it is to be invisible on the page when you write your memoir. To be invisible on the page means understanding that you're writing your memoir story for the reader. Yes, the story is all about you. Yes, it's your story, your life, but you're using it to illustrate a point. You're illustrating a universal truth. You're conveying something to the reader that is of value to the reader that will impact their lives. It's not merely out of interest for what has happened in your life. Your life is serving a function and a purpose to help somebody else. What do I mean by that? Your first draft is where you actually write your story and it's all about you. You put it all out there. You can put everything you want on that page, the way you want to say it, the language you want to use, the memories you want to record. It's all about you. After your first draft, you now have to become invisible. You have to step back. You have to look at that first draft and you have to dissect it. You have to look at where you are on the page. Where is your bitterness? Where is your revenge? Where is your cynicism? Where is your pride? Where is your ego? And you need to look at those elements and sift them through, take them out and remove them. And this now becomes a really common mistake because it's very difficult to separate myself and my ego from my story. And in order to do that, you need to go through your manuscript and make sure that tones of bitterness, vengeance, pride, success, all those things that are really speaking about you and the way you feel about things that are really just showcasing you and not illustrating the point of the story need to be removed. What the reader doesn't want to experience, which is what I have experienced in memoirs where this hasn't happened, is they'll be reading the story when all of a sudden you will spring out of the page, you'll pop up and you'll say, hey, look at me. Isn't it tough that I've had such a hard life? Or, hey, look at me. Wasn't that a brilliant thing that I said? Hey, look at me. Haven't I just achieved the greatest success? Aren't you proud of me? This happens in memoir when we haven't learned and understood what it is to be invisible on the page, is to write a thematic memoir where we become invisible and it's all about the reader. The reader does not want you stepping out of the page and blasting them with what your ego has to say. It has nothing to do with that. They're there to learn nuggets of truth about your life that they can apply to their life. And therefore, it becomes really important for writers to become invisible on the page, whether you're writing fiction or nonfiction, you become invisible. It's particularly difficult in memoir when the story is about you to not lay yourself on the pages in a way that draws attention to you. It needs to now be an illustration for the reader. Okay, so that's something for you to grapple with if it's a new concept for you, if it's something you haven't thought about before, is how do you become invisible when you are rewriting your story and packaging it for the reader. If you're looking for some more interesting topics on how to write a memoir, then do subscribe, click on the notification bell. Also download my free ebook, Seven Key Ingredients to Writing a Great Memoir, one that others will want to read. And I'll see you in that next video as we learn how to write a memoir.